Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this beautiful vlog, welcome back. Welcome back, happy Sunday. The sweatshirt I'm wearing right here is from my old clothing company. I used to have a clothing company back in the day called Silence Fitness, and it was awesome. I love doing it. I, uh, I think I still have the Instagram page around. I don't, the website's not up anymore, but I do have some gear. I got like tank tops and sweatshirts and tees and three quarter tees and long sleeves and joggers like i have a lot of stuff left over from that but guys i just i first of all i wanted to start off the new vlog and i want to say thank you so much for continuing to support the page it truly means the world um it truly does mean the world and i'm going to keep pumping out content as long as my brain lets me guys um today's probably gonna be a full day of eating i gotta go to the grocery store um, we got to pick up more meat. I have lit so today's Thursday. You guys are watching this on Sunday. Today's Thursday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I've had so I had this this morning at Fairlife. You guys, I mean, I pretty much have one to two of these a day. Um, but pretty much, yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, every single day, I've had one of these and about 900, about a thousand grams of <laughs> rice and about 25 ounces of beef every single day and i'm going to film that today i'm so i'm going to have this i had this this morning i'm going to have three meals each meal is going to be about 325 grams of rice 350 grams of rice i just upped that a little bit because i was getting hungry 350 grams of rice eight ounces of beef and then i'm going to do that three times today and that's going to be my full day of eating um i gotta use the restroom so bad but uh I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, and that's what this video is going to be. It's going to be a full day of eating. I'm going to go back home for the weekend. I'm getting close to the point where I will be moving from Fairfax to Annapolis. I don't think I've said that like explicitly yet, but that's what I'm doing. I'm moving back to Annapolis, and that's going to be where my life is right now. Who knows what's going to happen next? It's like everything just moves and ebbs and flows, and that's life, baby. That's life, and that's how we do it out here in the... Uh, the world i don't know where my airpods are there they are um but that's going to be the plan at least for me that's why i'm going to be moving back to um i know some people are asking about that that's that's the plan on that side but also i just wanted to get in here real quick it's currently 8 20 in the morning and this morning has been an absolute nightmare like absolute nightmare and i to the point where i almost like I mean, I got so angry. Like, you kind of, like, see red sometimes. And, you know, just because a lot of work, like, not, not work stuff, but just interpersonal relationships, should I say. Um, and then my dog just didn't want to get into a crate. And I get it because uh, we're at a point now where she's sometimes in a crate for, like, two separate times during the day for about four hours each time. And I know she doesn't want to do that. And I, I respect that. I don't want to do that either with her. But that's just the situation we are in right now until I can find a place where I get, like, a doggy daycare where I can take her. So this morning she didn't want to go into a crate and before she gets in her, if she ever feels like she's being like, if, if she's in trouble, no matter, even if you don't raise your voice, no matter if you don't raise your voice, she just pees. So she peed on the couch. Um, I try to clean her. I think it all started because I try to clean her, the, um, the, the, the wrapper, no, the, uh, the cover of the, the circle couch, which her and I, every morning we get up at four and we, we basically just hang out. We cuddle on the, on the circle couch for about an hour and a half. I have my coffee. I post to social media. I talk to her. She talks to me. I take her out for a little walk. And for this morning, that whole routine was messed up. And she's like me, if her routine's messed up, she has a bad day. Um, it was still wet. So that had to happen. Um, and then her blanket was messed up, so she didn't have her normal blanket that she sleeps on in the crate, which I think upset her. And it's it's a clean smell, which she doesn't like. She likes the smell of her, which I totally get. I respect that. Um, and then on top of that, uh, I think I put her in the uh, kennel last night at like 8.30. Um, and maybe I put her in there a little bit too long. I just think, you know, a lot of change for her and I. And I think she just kind of, you know, she gets anxious. And I totally get that. And I, I love that little dog more than anything else. But sometimes you get angry. So I went to the gym and on the way back to work from the gym, I, it just, I had an epiphany. I was like, okay, those relationships, those interpersonal relationships I'm struggling with right now, they're going to work themselves out. Oh, today's half off drinks, 12 to six from Starbucks. Definitely going to get a drink from Starbucks and they're going to work themselves out. I wrote everything down. I journaled, I wrote everything down on a sticky note. So I know exactly what I'm stressed out about. Um, I looked at my money. I'm good on money. I'm good on rent. I'm good on all that. And then I looked at Nona. I was like, okay, this is okay. 
We've, we've dealt, Taylor's dealt with this. I've dealt with this. She's going to be okay. She's a dog. She just needs stability. And right now she doesn't have stability. I don't have stability. So we're both kind of in the same boat. Um, but that's that's kind of my my point of opening this, this, this video is like when things get stressful and you get angry, don't react immediately. Like when you're seeing red, don't do something dumb. Just kind of be like, okay, what's going on? What am I actually upset about? And then just go about your day. Stick to your routine, go about your day, and there will be a time during the day where it goes like, oh, that's what I'm angry about. I'm not even, like for me, I'm I'm more upset with kind of, not upset, but like, I'm just trying to get my feet back under me with life changes that are going on and moving back to Annapolis. So I'm running already at like, it's funny, there's this thing that tracks your heart rate on app on my uh, Apple Watch, and I haven't looked at it, but it's probably just been, my resting heart rate's probably been up probably like two or four, two to five beats per minute. Um... It was really low to the point where I was like a serial killer when I was running a lot. But it's that's my baseline is higher right now, right? We're running here instead of here. So normally I'm here, but I'm here right now. So anything that makes me upset just puts me here. Instead of if I get upset here, I'm here. So I just had to realize that. I'm not upset at the dog. I'm not upset at the person. I'm upset. I'm just kind of confused with my life. And anything kind of compounds that. But that's that. I wanted to get that off my chest. And honestly, talking to a camera does help, even though I look like a lunatic sometimes, but that's okay. Um, I gotta go in here, gotta go work, gotta go to the grocery store, and then I'm done for the day. I don't know what to do with my day. Um, Nona and I are probably gonna go walk around Burke Lake. I gotta go use the restroom really bad. Um, but I just want to welcome you guys to another video. Thank you so much for the support. You guys don't want you girls, girls and guys, I always say guys. Um, you guys and girls, you guys and girls don't understand how much this has helped me the past two months just posting on youtube it forces me to do something i have to do it because i made a promise and that has been keeping me on track and it's been beautiful and it's been helping me so much and i want people to understand if you're ever going through adversity in your life if you lose somebody that you love if you lose somebody um if, if you lose a job if anything happens you have money issues just keep going pick one or two or three people i have I have one or two people in my life, Charles and James, in my family. Like they've been there for me, and they've been there for me. And I reach out, even Brady. I've I've reached out to these people, and they've helped me. I've talked to them, and that's that's what you need in moments like this. And also understand that when you love somebody, you love them, no matter what that leads to. You love them. You give energy to people, and don't be upset that you love somebody. Always be proud of that and always be proud of that individual. And I know that's a hard, hard, hard thing to, to listen to and recognize, especially if you've been hurt by somebody. But just understand, true love is the ability to let someone grow and prosper in their own world, even if, even if that doesn't always include you. But just know, just know that that's okay and that's life. And people will, people will come and go, but you, when you love somebody, you have to love, you can't say F them, screw them. You have to forever, in my, in my opinion, when I love, I love hard. I love hard. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. I gotta go pee before I pee myself. I also gotta charge my camera before I run out of battery. Guys, sit back, enjoy the rest of the video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and tell a friend in real life about the channel. It really means the world. All right, I'll see you later. All right, here we are. Back at the apartment. Had the goods. I had to get four small containers, which is obviously not ideal. But I got four of these 90-10s. And today I'm going to get hit 250 grams of protein. Take you through all my meals, like I said before. So just these four, these 90-10s. Not the best way to save money, but this is all they had. So I'm going to cook these up. I'm going to have my first meal right now. Uh, eight ounces of beef, 350 grams of rice, a little bit of salsa, and then I just use this minute floppy rice right here. Let me go ahead, uh, get the dog out, throw my food in the microwave, and show you my first meal. All right, so here's my first meal of the day, second take. I did this the first time, and I pretty much took my dog out because she was running to my feet. Her and I are off to a rough start today. But we have our eight ounces of beef, 350 grams of rice, and we're going to use this Chunky classic salsa just from Safeway. Okay, throw this in a little bit of hot sauce and you Know the next so yesterday <clears throat> I was using garlic um, It hurt my stomach, which I know it does but I still wanted it anyways uh, Today we're not gonna use garlic. We're just gonna use lemon pepper. Okay, boom 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 get a little bit of uh, salsa Pour it right out of the container because we're 
an absolute monster. Okay, so just a little bit of salsa there, or a lot of it. So that much. I won't track this calories, it's probably like an extra 80 calories. And then just a little bit of hot sauce. Throw that Frank's Red Hot on there. It's currently 10.30. I'm gonna finish up the rest of Tiger Belly and then take this dog on a walk, come back, got a few meetings, and then have my second meal. And then just hang out, watch Ozark. I've been watching Ozark lately. Super intense show, super intense. Uh, but let me go ahead and eat this meal because I am absolutely starving. So I have just a few minutes before my meeting starts. And this dog right here, see her? Nona. She has been an absolute rock for me for the past two months. Look what she did. She ripped off her two, two, two uh, I guess, feet or claws off her lobster. But this is her circle couch. I don't know if I've told you guys about this, but she has this circle couch that she gets to lay on. She gets to play on it at my apartment, at my parents' house. She doesn't have a couch. So the reason why she was upset, like I was saying earlier in this video, is because I had to remove this. Because she gets she gets a little smelly. Like right now, she's a, she's a, you're a little smelly. And she has to take a bath. <clears throat> so she got the couch super smelly and the blanket super smelly, so I had to wash it. But in the act of washing it, it didn't, it didn't dry quick enough. So she got upset with me. Right? You got upset with me? Yeah. And I think she's at the point now where she's finally starting to forgive me. I hope I hope she's at least forgiving me. And uh, she's giving me a little bit of a silent treatment, but that's okay because we just went on an hour and a half long walk. A five, five hour walk. And uh, she knows I love her. And she is one of my best friends, if not my best friend. She's the sweetest little thing in the world. Right, Nona? Um... It's 12.56, I'm about to start my meeting. I just wanted to explain to you guys. Oh, I saw a bald eagle ripping a squirrel out of a tree on my walk. No, they didn't see it. If she did, she would have barked at it. But uh, I just wanted to introduce you guys formally to my sweet dog, who is shedding and also 100% has to get a bath. I might film that. I don't know, we'll see. She hates the bath. She has to get her toenails done too, but I don't know how to do that. I'm scared, so I might just take her to a groomer so they can do that for us. Let the pros take care of that. Um, I gotta hop on this meeting. And then I'm gonna eat meal two probably right after that around 2.30. All right, so what's going on? Uh, just finished up my meeting at work and I have, it's two o'clock. I have my second meal here of the day. Um, I had to cut this one down a little bit. Uh, just because I only had seven ounces. Look at this beautiful little pillow. My beautiful dog. Look at her. Sweet angel. Um, we only, oh, I, I only had seven ounces of beef left and only 300 grams of rice. So this meal is a lot less in calories. Um, so that just means for the final meal of the day, which I'm going to have around probably around six, uh, probably seven to eight. Um, it's probably going to be a bit higher in calories, but it's still going to put me about 250 grams of protein. Um, and you know, I like to go a pound or a gram per pound of body weight. Um, but when I'm trying to kind of main or trying to increase my muscle mass, I will actually go a little bit higher. That's why I'm about 250. Um, I'm sitting about 220 right now. So if I wanted to just go, you know, a gram per pound of body weight, I'd be doing 220, but I'm doing about 250. Um, and I'm doing about five grams of creatine a day. Um, super simple. Actually, I actually haven't shown you guys the type of creatine I get. I just got something from Walmart, which is like flavored, which is not ideal. Like you don't need to get flavored creatine. You don't need to get like hydro, hydro cut or, you know, you just get simple creatine monohydrate. Take five grams a day. Make sure you drink your water, which I have right here. I drink about five to seven of these a day. So well over a gallon. And then just eat your protein, eat your carbs, eat some fat, take some vitamins, and you'll be good. And you'll be going on the right direction. Uh, but I'm gonna watch probably two, three, three to four, probably two episodes of Ozark, which I never watch TV during the day, which is a little odd, but uh, it's the holiday season, man. Um, so I'm gonna watch two episodes of this. And this show 
is so intense. And this is coming from somebody who loves Peaky Blinders. Um, I, I love Peaky Blinders, but this show is like, I mean, it's, a, it's actually, it's, it's really good. It's extraordinary. It's a really good show, but it is, it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, just like shooting people in the head left and right. Like, anyways, when I watch this show at nighttime, so every night what I've been doing is watching Ozark. And then before I go to bed, I roll over and I whip out YouTube and I, uh, watch Sam Silik and it kind of puts me to bed. I fall asleep watching Sam Silik. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this before it gets cold, watch two episodes, and then probably take the dog back on a walk. I'm almost tempted to go to my apartment gym and do like a quick arm workout and maybe film that, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, just a lazy, lazy Thursday afternoon. Whole lot of nothing. A lot of exciting things come, coming down the pipe at work though, um, which I might actually be able to implement into social media. We'll see, we'll see. I gotta talk to people about that, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this, watch the episode of Ozark, and I'll catch you guys later. I just, I cannot avoid work. I got the dog back here. There she is right there. I did one episode of Ozark, I couldn't do more than that. It was just so intense. The sun's going down, sun goes down at four o'clock. So I've just been rocking Noah Khan. Noah Co Coan, Coan, Co Coan. Noah Khan, gotta get gas. Um, I'm gonna, I'm in downtown Fairfax right now. I got a Starbucks, half off, 288 for a venti coffee. Can't, can't skip it, don't need it. As you can tell, I got a lot of caffeine in me, but uh, I don't need it, but I'm gonna have it. Uh, I'm gonna run into work real quick. I gotta pee so bad. I've been peeing so much on my walks and it drives me absolutely insane. Um, but I'm gonna go use the restroom, talk to my boss real quick, leave the dog in the car for about five minutes, which by the way, like, <laughs> I don't know, like, uh, like leaving your dog in the car, it's not a big deal. Like, unless you do it for like, I don't do it longer than like five minutes. I just do it whenever I have to do something. Um, so I'm gonna go pee, talk to my boss real quick, and then actually come back to the car to take the dog on about a five minute walk. Um, so, but that's, that's, that's the plan, man. Just go on a nice little walk, um, enjoy my time, and then, uh, I don't know, I might get some food later. No, I'm just gonna keep stick to my diet, just stick to what I'm doing and enjoy enjoy that. Um, but let me go run inside and pee real quick and stop vlogging while driving. It's not safe. If you're a vlogger, don't vlog while you drive. It's a bad idea. It's not good for anybody. <laughs> don't do it. Um, you hear that, buddy? You guys stay in here. Uh, probably for like five minutes, okay? I'll be back for you. Always will, you're my best friend. All right, I'm gonna go take her on a walk after I use the restroom. Alrighty guys, so how's this lighting right here? Is this okay? This lighting, I found this like little spot in my house. <laughs> A little down lighting here. Nothing crazy. How are we looking? Let's go back. How are we looking? It's all about that natty lighting right now. goal here is to get this right here, this into an actual six pack. <laughs> that's the goal at least. We'll see. Um, that's the goal. But uh, we're going to go ahead and actually finish up this video. Um, I have my final meal. I have the beef over here finishing up. It's all good to go. The rice is just the water is kind of soaking into the, uh, the rice itself. So it becomes nice and fluffy. We have our bowl here. So we're gonna do 10 ounces of beef and it's gonna be about 350 grams of rice. And this time I'm actually gonna use a regular salsa. So I'm going to use this right here, just with a chunky one. Uh, I know I didn't show any workout footage in this video, um, but that's, you know, I just didn't film at the gym and that's okay. Hopefully you guys understand. Hopefully you don't get upset with me. But we are going to finish with the video here. I'm gonna have my final meal. That's gonna be it. That's gonna finish up all the meals for the entire day. 
I took the dog out for a walk. I put the AC on in the apartment. It's 72 degrees, which is cold. Um, but yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, um, please subscribe. And if you could please uh, share the video with one of your friends and continue to support the channel. It means the world. I think we're closing into about 3,500 subscribers, which is crazy. I think we only need like 350 more. Um, so thank you guys so much for the support. I'm going to eat this, watch another episode, probably two episodes of Ozark. I'm hooked on it. I'm excited this four seasons. I'm excited there's a new show I can watch. Um, and then after this, I think I might watch uh, The Gilded Age, which I'm super excited for. One of my clients was telling me about it. Um, when things aren't going your way, if you just keep chugging along, I promise you, there will be times where it's still hard, but there will be times where it gets easier. Um, be blessed. Thank you so much for watching the channel. I'm going to go ahead and eat this. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and I'll catch you guys on Wednesday. Thank you.